Hello everyone, welcome to my video. We're going to do some core 3 revision. Uh, my guys have got a mock coming up, so it's for them. And for anyone on YouTube who wants to practice their core 3. So, we're going to learn how to integrate the tricky things that they can give you. Um, where it might be 1 over something, or it might be a bracket to a certain power. Now the key thing that you need to remember is if you've got something, if you differentiate, okay, then you're going to get something else. Now if you know this, you know how to differentiate this something else. You know how to integrate this something else, sorry. Because integration is the opposite of differentiation. Okay, so whilst we're doing this little practice revision session, can you keep that in mind because we are going to be using that information. Can I put it in the corner for us? So the first one that we're going to look at is going to be um, just 3x plus 1 to the power of 4. And our question is to integrate it. Okay, so... Using what we just talked about, something differentiating to something else, what we're going to do is we're going to guess what this might be. So if we guess something that's going to differentiate to this, then we know how to integrate it. So let's guess something to the power of 5 because when we differentiate, we're going to decrease the power. Okay, and what we're going to guess is the same thing in the bracket. So 3x plus 1 to the power of 5. Now, let's differentiate. When we differentiate this, I'm assuming you know how to differentiate. It's the thing in the power, okay, multiplied by the power decrease the power, and then the extra step, because this thing isn't just x or u, you have to times by the differential, which in this case is 3. So the answer that we get is actually 15 times by 3x plus 1 to the power of 4. So that means that we know how to integrate 15 times 3x plus 1 to the power of 4. But we don't have a 15 here. So what we have to do is we have to kind of cheat. We have to say, well, I'll tell you what, let's pretend that we started with 1 over 15 so that it's going to carry through and divide by 15 again. So we now know that the integral of this thing, okay, gives us that. And by the way, 15 over 15 cancels down to 1, which is why the method works. Now, there's one thing that you need to remember that some people forget. That thing is plus c. When you integrate without limits, you always need plus c. Right, so that's the first example done, and that was just something to a power. The next example that we're going to do is still going to be something to a power, but it's going to be to the power of negative 1. Okay, so example two is going to be the integral of 5 um, minus 2x to the power of minus 1. Right, so when we're doing this step up at the top, we need to think, what can we differentiate to get to this? Okay, now you need to know that when you differentiate... Um, ln of x, that goes to 1 over x, okay? And remember, to the power of minus 1 means 1 over it. So our guess is going to be ln of that, okay? So let's guess ln, should be the modulus really, minus 2, 5 minus 2x. So let's differentiate this. 
what we're going to get when we differentiate this is ln of something, so it's going to be 1 over it. Okay. However, because of the chain rule, we need to times by the differential here. The differential here is minus 2. That's a big eraser. Um, one sec. So we're going to get multiplied by minus 2. So we now know how to integrate this thing with a minus 2, but we don't have a minus 2 here. So let's cheat again. Let's say that we're going to divide by minus a half, a.k.a. Um, minus, at the top, divide by minus a half. That's going to carry through when we differentiate, minus 1 over 2. The minus is going to cancel this minus to a plus, and the 2 is going to cancel. So that means that we know how to differentiate um, this, and aka how to integrate 1 over 5 minus 2x, which is what we started with, 5 minus 2x to power of minus 1. So we write our answer, and you cannot forget the plus c. I'm going to show you one with limits after this. Um, it might be horrible because I, I might make it up, or it might be nice if I'm lucky. Minus a half, ln, modulus of 5, minus 2x, add c. Okay, next one, let's do one with some limits. Now, I tell you what, this next one is what people get really confused about. Because the exam is kind of trying to trick you and kind of thinking, uh, well, you've obviously not prepared enough if you're going to fall for this trick. So the trick is, for example, 3. Yes, it's going to be 1 with limits, 5, 2. And it's going to be 1 over something, x minus 1 cubed dx. Right, how many of you guys are shouting at the screen, ln, ln x, okay? How many of you? Put your hands up. No, I'm only, I'm only joking. Don't put your hands up. No one can see you. Um, okay, so why is that a trick? It's not 1 over x. It's not 1 over u. Why not? It's because it's 1 over something cubed. And guess what? 1 over something cubed could be a core 1 or a core 2 question, not a core 3 question, where you're going to long. This can be written as u to minus 3. So a tip for you guys, go simple first. If simple doesn't work, then go more difficult. Don't go the other way around. You're going to tie yourself in a knot. Okay? So, enough of that talk. Let's just do this stuff now. So first of all, let's write that how we like to see it, how we like to see it in for 2 as well. x minus 1 to the negative 3. Now it's something to the power of minus 3. So our guess is going to be a bit trickier now. Something to what power so that when we differentiate, we're going to get minus 3. Now when we differentiate, we decrease the power. So what we need to start with is actually minus 2 in this case. Okay. And what we want in the bracket is x minus 1. When we do differentiate this, okay, we times by the power, we get minus 2. This is quite nice in the fact that the differential of x minus 1 is just 1, so we don't really need the chain rule. Take 1 from the power. So we know how to differentiate this. We know how to integrate this, but with a minus 2. We don't have a minus 2, so we need to cheat by dividing by minus a half. So that this carries through, and we get over minus 2, which will cancel. Okay. So we now know how to integrate what we were trying to integrate, which is this. Now, we still have limits to do so, it's not over yet. So we're integrating 
and we get this answer here minus a half x minus one to minus two between the limits five and two we do have a calculator for core three let's just erase our working out so let's um, do our first our biggest limit first minus a half five minus two sorry five minus one is four to minus two so first limit minus the second limit which is substituting in two two minus one is one okay right so here to minus two call two skills again four squared is 16 but because it's a minus two it's going to join our lovely two there at the bottom um, and two times 16 is 32 minus and minus here be careful plus okay and it's going to be any one to any power is going to give you just one again so it's just add a half here yes you can put this straight into your calculator or you can be old school and think um, half is the same as 16 over 32 which gives you your final answer of 15 over 32 right bit of revision um, I hope that was useful I hope it's going to help in your mocks or your exams good luck and achieve maths